Bill Whale from Colwyn Bay, Mike Clark from Brechin in Angus, Paul Tyrrell from Oadby in Leicestershire, Bob Whitaker from Woolpit in Suffolk, Terry Dads from Ipswich, Martin Sanders from Dunfermline, Margaret Barker from Duckinfield in Cheshire, Alan Moxon from Rubery in the West Midlands, Barry Cohn from Horsham in West Sussex, Sean Banks from Penrith in Cumbria, Martin Rands from Hadnall in Shropshire, Gordon Taylor from Sudbrook in Lincolnshire, John Nightingale from Rustington in West Sussex, Monty Hubbers from Southgate in London, and David Gorton from Tividale in the West Midlands are all here to play 15 to 1, presented by William G. Stewart. Thank you. Hello. Our previous winner today is Martin Rounds from Hadnall in Shropshire. Welcome back. Martin, a winning score above 192 is required for a place on the finals board today. There's the board. And in our finals board competition, we have one entry with 333 and 192 as the top and bottom scores. So Mr C. Torton from Caldicott in Monmouthshire will be hoping for no change between now and the grand final. Let's see if his luck holds out. It's two questions each in the first round, one correct answer from you to survive, and we begin with Bill Whale from Colwyn Bay. Bill, sport and cricket. Which batsman who has played 42 tests for England announced in February that he's leaving Middlesex after 14 years and joining Surrey? That's the same. Mark Ramprakash. Mike, please, music. What term is used to describe a male voice pitched between bass and tenor? Baritone. Paul, please. The county town of Shrewsbury and the cities of Worcester and Gloucester all stand on which river? Seven. Bob, please. English counties. Hever Castle and Leeds Castle are in which English county? Kent. Terry, please. Music again. With which style of music are the Preservation Hall in New Orleans and Ronnie Scott's in London mainly associated? Jazz. Martin, pressure groups. The NAS is an association that seeks to reduce noise to tolerable and reasonable levels. What does NAS stand for? Noise Suppression Society? No, Noise Abatement okay. Society. Margaret, please. Zoology. Frogs, toads, newts and salamanders all belong to which class of vertebrates? Don't know. Amphibians. Alan, British politics. Which current leader of a political party became at 23 the youngest MP in the House of Commons when he was elected in 1983? Charles Kennedy. And Berry, please. Sport and fencing. Which French term warns a fencer to adopt a defensive stance in readiness for an attack or bout? En garde. And Sean, please. Opera. Puccini's opera, Madame Butterfly. What's the name of the American lieutenant who deserts Cho Cho San? No idea. Lieutenant Pinkerton. Martin, please. Public office. Who has replaced Chris Woodhead as the Chief Inspector of Schools in England? Uh, no. Sure. Mike Tomlinson. Gordon. Books and films. The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. Dorothy, travelling with her dog, has three companions in her search for the wizard. The Scarecrow is one. One of the other two, please. The Lion. And the Tin Man. Tin Man. John. Poetry. The 14th century poem, Piers Plowman. Who wrote it? Uh, sorry. William Langland. Monty, please. Honours and awards. The order of merit is limited to how many full members? Twelve. Twenty-four. David? Canada, Brazil, Morocco and Portugal all have coastlines on which ocean? Uh, the Atlantic. And your second question, Bill. Chichester and Lewis are respectively the administrative centres of West and East... Sussex. Mike, please. Church history in the 16th century. What collective name has been given to Hugh Latimer, Nicholas Ridley and Thomas Cranmer, churchmen executed for heresy during the reign of Mary I? I'm sorry, I don't know. They're called the Oxford Martyrs. Paul, please. 20th century theatre. Florence Lancaster, a fading beauty who cannot accept the march of time, and her drug-addicted son, Nicky, central characters in which Noel Coward play. The picture of Dorian Gray. No, that's a novel by Oscar Wilde. This is The Vortex. Bob, please. This is Quotations and Oscar Wilde. The old believe everything, the middle-aged suspect everything, the young what? Think they know everything. Yes, <laughs> know everything. And Terry, please. Philosophy, Stoicism, originated around 300 BC with the teachings of which Greek philosopher? 
Don't know. Zeno, Martin, English history. Which English monarch, the last of the Tudors, was on the throne at the turn of the 16th century into the 17th century? Elizabeth I. Indeed. Margaret, the meaning of words. What is vaticination? Vaticination. I don't know, sorry. It's the power of prophecy, soothsaying or predicting or foretelling. Alan, please. Abbreviations. Following a list of names, what is meant by the abbreviation et al? Uh, and the rest. Well, and others, OK, yes. And Berry, please. Books and films. The Bostonians, the Golden Bowl and the Europeans. Film adaptations by the Merchant Ivory Partnership of novels by which American-born author? Henry James. With a New York accent. You ought to have got that. <laughs> Sean, please. Science and chemistry. All carbohydrates contain three elements. Carbon is one. One of the other two, please. Hydrogen. Yes, and oxygen. Martin, please. Shakespeare. Helena is the name of two heroines in Shakespeare plays. In one, she is in love with Demetrius. In the other, she is in love with Bertram. Either of the plays, please. Um, two Gentlemen in Verona. A Midsummer Night's Dream or All's Well That Ends Well. Gordon, business and commerce. The name, please, of the retail group of which Comet and B&Q are a part. Kingfisher. John, please. Wildlife. The adult female of a fallow deer is called a doe. What is a female red deer called? A hind. Monty, please. Science and astronomy. Also known as a collapsar, what more common name is given to an astronomical body with such a high gravitational field that nothing, not even light, can escape from it? A black hole. David, please. Ballet. Nutcracker by Tchaikovsky and Coppelia by Delieb are based on stories by which German writer? Brothers Grimm. Ernst Hoffmann. <laughs> and it's four down, 11 to go. Philip? And they are Margaret Barker, Martin Rands, John Nightingale and Monty Hubbers. And of the remaining 11 contestants, four still have their three lives intact. Bill, decades of the 20th century. King Juan Carlos of Spain was sworn in following the death of General Franco. Margaret Thatcher became leader of the Conservative Party. The Vietnam War ended. All in which decade? The 70s. A number, please, Bill. 10. Sean, which counselling service was founded in 1953 by the Reverend Chad Vara? The Smallisons. A number, please, Sean. Three. The Highway Code, Paul. What's the minimum age at which a person may supervise a learner driver in a car? 21. Yes, and you must have had a licence for three years. And a number, please? 15, please. Football in the World Cup 2002, David. The USA in 1994, France in 1998. Which two countries will co-host the World Cup in 2002? Japan and South Korea. And a number, please, David? Uh, eight, please. And, Alan, this is Shakespeare. How are the characters, Palamon and Archite, described in the title of a play that Shakespeare is believed to have written in collaboration with John Fletcher? No, don't know. The Two Noble Kinsmen. Again, please, David. Number three, please. Modern art, Paul. The installation called A Thousand Years comprises a glass case containing flies, maggots, a cow's head and an electric insect killer, a typical work by which British artist? No idea. Damien Hirst. Again, please. Uh, number six, please. Science, Martin. Which compound, commonly called heavy water, has the formula D2O? Uh, deuterium. No, it's deuterium oxide. Again, please, David. Uh, number one, please. The meaning of words, Bill. To which season does the adjective hibernal relate? Winter. And a number, please. Nine. Berry, in which British city are the universities of Heriot Watt and Napier? Edinburgh. A number, please, Barry. Number three. And, Paul, what name was given to the worldwide religious revivalist movement founded by the American evangelist Frank Bookman in the late 1930s? Christian scientist. Moral rearmament, or MRA for short. Again, please. Um, Fifteen. And, David, please. Astronomy. Which word in astronomy means the elliptical path through space of one celestial body around another? An orbit. A number, David? Uh, five, please. 
and films, Terry, The Silence of the Lambs and its sequel, Hannibal, are based on the books of which American thriller writer? Oh, no. Thomas Harris. Again, please. Uh, nine, please. Berry, still films. In the film Hannibal, sequel to The Silence of the Lambs, who plays the role of the FBI agent Clarice Starling, formerly played by Jodie Foster? Julianne Moore. A number, please, Berry. Number six. And Ireland, please, Martin. What in Ireland are Leopardstown, Punchestown, and Fairy House? Fairies. The names of race courses. Again, please. Number one. Industry and geology, Bill. What metal is obtained from an argentiferous ore? Silver. And a number, please. Twelve. Famous songs, please, Gordon. For the lyrics of which song is the German Hans Leip best remembered? I don't know. Lily Marleyan, the music by Norbert Schultz. Eight. And Alan, please. This is geology. What's the name of the mineral hardness scale on which talc registers one and diamond registers ten at the top? No, I'm sorry, I don't know. It's the Mohs scale. Again, please, Bill. Ten. Maritime history, Sean. The name, please, of Sir Francis Drake's ship, on which he completed his circumnavigation of the world, a replica of which is moored in St Mary Overy Dock in London. Golden Hind. Yep. And a number, please? Uh, five, please. Used as a refrigerant, dry ice is the solid form of which common gas? Carbon dioxide. A number, please, Terry. Twelve. Famous poets, Gordon. The Castaway, published in 1965, and The Fortunate Traveller, published in 1981. Collections of poetry by which West Indian poet who won the 1992 Nobel Prize for Literature? I don't know. Derek Walcott. Again, please. Fifteen. This is Greek mythology, David. The monster Echidna in Greek mythology was half woman and half what? Fish. Snake or serpent. Again, please. Two. And Mike, please. The Cold War. In Winston Churchill's famous speech, made at Fulton, Missouri in 1946, he spoke of Europe being divided by an iron curtain that ran from which sea in northern Europe to which sea in the south? The Baltic to the Mediterranean. The Baltic to the Adriatic. Stettin. Again, please. Number eight. And Alan, please. Accounting for over 80% of its population, what is India's main religion? Uh, Hinduism. A number, Alan. Uh, number four. Horses and equipment, Bob. What name is given to the band which passes under a horse's belly to keep the saddle in position? Girth. A number, please, Bob. Number 12. Conservation, please, Gordon. In which European city are the international headquarters of both Friends of the Earth and Greenpeace? Geneva. Amsterdam. Again, please. 15. David, please. The royal family, the Duchess of Kent. What is her first Christian name? Alice. Catherine. Again, please. Ten. And Sean, please. By tradition, the Prime Minister is also First Lord of the Treasury and Minister for what? No, sorry. The Civil Service. Again, please. One. English Grammar Bill. Slowly, sadly and roughly are examples of which part of speech? Adverbs. A number, please, Bill. Nine. Medicine, Berry. What medical term means the removal of living tissue for examination? Um, pathology. No, pathology is the study of diseases. This is biopsy. Onwards. Eight. And Alan, please. European history. What name is given to the massacre of thousands of French people on a Mediterranean island in 1282? No, sorry. The Sicilian Vespers. Again, please. Four. Human anatomy, please, Bob. What's the anatomical term for the roof of the mouth? Palate. A number, please, Bob. Number nine. Ships in the sea, Barry. The Tigris, Ra II, and the Contiki. Famous vessels associated with the journeys of which Norwegian adventurer? Thor Heyerdahl. A number, please, Barry. Five. Literary places, please, Terry. The former name, please, of the London Street, now called Milton Street, which was the abode of many writers in the 18th century and is sometimes used as a general term for needy authors, literary hacks and their work. No. Grub Street. Again, please, Barry. 
Uh, number two, please. Vitamins, Mike. Which vitamin is synthesized by the action of ultraviolet light on the skin? C. Vitamin D. Again, please. Uh, number ten. Sean, please. Which present-day European capital city was known to the Romans as Lutetia? Paris. Yes. Ooh. Okay. Give me a number. Uh, number one, please. Bill, science. Which word is used to describe the movement of a solvent or liquid through a semi-permeable membrane that separates solutions of different concentrations? Osmosis. It is. And onwards, please. Four. Language, Bob. What's the subject matter of a textbook described as a grimoire? Spelled G-R-I-M-O-I-R-E. Grimoire. Don't know. Don't know. Sorcery or magic. Again, Bill? Ten. Sean, the name, please, of the breed of draft horse with white markings which evolved from a breed from Lanarkshire. A yeah, shy horse. Clydesdale. It is 12 down, three to go, and after the break, Bill Whale from Colwyn Bay, Bob Whitaker from Woolford in Suffolk, and Barry Cohn from Horsham in West Sussex will be here for the final. Do please stay with us. The three surviving contestants in today's 15 to 1 final are Bill Whale, a retired radio engineer from Colwyn Bay. Bob Whitaker, a retired company chairman from Woolpit in Suffolk, and Barry Cohn, a psychologist from Horsham in West Sussex. Thank you. Welcome back. Bill, Bob and Barry, put your fingers on the buzzers. Any winning score above 192 might well be enough for a place in the grand final. Here we go. The Olympic Games, Berlin 1936. 100 metres, 200 metres. Long jump. Barry? Jesse Owens. Still the Olympics. And which American athlete won gold medals in the same four events in the 1984 Games in Los Angeles? Carl Lewis. With a population in excess of one million, which is Britain's second largest city? Birmingham. The calendar. How many months in a calendar year have only 30 days in them? Bill? Four. Yes, April, June, September and November. Still the calendar. Of all the public holidays in England and Wales, which one can never fall on a Monday? Bill? Good Friday. Good Friday, yes. Sport again. The OUBC and the CUBC meet every year in which contest which takes place, Bill? University boat race. Yes, takes place in the spring in London. And the choice is yours, Bill. Question or nominate? Bob, please. Bob, the British monarchy. In which year of the 20th century did three monarchs reign in Britain? 1936. Question or nominate? Nominate Bill. Bill, space exploration. April the 12th, 1961, Vostok 1 took off on a historic space flight. Who was on board? A dog. Yuri Gagarin. Again, please, Bob. Barry. Look at this, please, and tell me, for which European country is this an abbreviation? Finland. Macedonia. It stands for the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia. Again, please, Bob. Uh, nominate Bill. Bill. Nature. What does it mean if a creature is described as being arboreal? Lives in a tree. And question or nominate? Berry, please. Berry. Political leaders. The name, please, of the soldier and statesman who fought the British in the Boer War, but later served in Lloyd George's War Cabinet and was twice Prime Minister of the Union of South Africa. Cecil Rhodes. Jan Smuts. Again, please, Bill. Bob, please. Bob, films. In Walt Disney's classic Bambi, Bambi is a fawn, Thumper is a rabbit. What sort of creature is Flower? <coughs> Can't you see that nice little black and white skunk? Oh. Bill, again? Berry, please. Berry, please. Banking services. The name, please, of the banking service, a member of the Alliance and Leicester Group that trades through subsidiaries of the post office. Gyro bank. And question or nominate? I'll nominate uh, Bob, please. And Bob, motor cars. Which motor car manufacturer produces the Aguila, Vectra, Omega and Frontera models? Vauxhall. Question or nominate? Nominate Bill. Bill, who was Britain's last Labour Prime Minister before Tony Blair? Jim Callaghan. And question or nominate? Uh, Bob, please. Bob, history of aviation, the Wright brothers. What were their first names? 
Wilbur and Orville. And question or nominate? Bill. Bill, stately homes, designed by Sir John Vanborough, it is the country seat of the Earls of Carlisle and featured in the television adaptation of Brideshead Revisited. Which stately home in North Yorkshire? Um, no, I don't know. Castle Howard. Bob, please. A berry. Berry, the Middle East. A Sabra, spelt S-A-B-R-A, is a native of which Middle East country? Uh, Israel. And question or nominate? Um, Bill, please. Bill? The Wash, an inlet of the North Sea, lies between which two English counties? Uh, Lincolnshire and Norfolk. Question or nominate? Uh, Berry, please. Look at this, Berry, and tell me, please. This is the United Nations. It's the logo of which branch of the United Nations? Is that UNICEF? It is UNICEF, yes. And question or nominate? Bob, please. And Bob, Latin phrases, literally meaning under the rose. If something is said or information is given sub rosa, what conditions apply? I don't know. Secrecy or confidentiality. <coughs> Barry, please. Um, Bill. Bill, number systems. In a decimal number system, each column is ten times bigger than the one to its right. How many times bigger is each column in a binary system? Two. And question or nominate? Uh, Bob, please. History of the cinema. Faye Ray is guaranteed a place in cinema history thanks to her performance in one film in 1933 in which she was terrified by a large animal trying to be friendly. Which film? King Kong. And question or nominate? Berry. Berry, the region called Patagonia is divided between two South American countries. Chile is one, which is the other? Brazil. Argentina. <laughs> And again, Bob? Bill. Please. Bill, this is the BBC. Andy Parfit, James Moyer, Roger Wright, Helen Bowden and Bob Sherman. What related positions do they hold at the BBC? Directors? No, they're controllers of radios 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. <laughs> now, Bob, 42 is a winning score. One life left. And there are 15 questions. I make that 150, 192, and 10 for that would be 202 points, just enough for a place in the grand final. Here we go. The animal world. Brock is an alternative name for which mammal? A badger. Genealogy. The correct way round, please. What do the words spear and distaff mean in connection with family trees? Uh, male and female. Science. What's the common name of the green-blue coating of copper carbonate which forms naturally on copper, bronze and brass? Verdigree. And Latin phrases again. Formerly used in church services, what does the Latin phrase Pax Vobiscum mean? Uh, worldwide peace. No, it means peace be with you. Peace. You can now relax. You are a winner. 72 points, no place on the finals board, but go away and have your summer holidays and come back and join us in the autumn. Well done, Bob. Thank you. <laughs> and that's it for today. We'll be back tomorrow. See you then. Also tomorrow, old favourites from the past. Peter Sellers plays the Prime Minister, even as Nicholas Parsons gets a part. But it's Terry Thomas who leads the way as Carlton Braun of the FO. Bit of a laugh in tomorrow's matinee at 1.30 on 4. Next today, however, the stuff of... NatWest offer a low 5.9% APR on balance transfers and they give air miles. So you could take the kids to Walton Towers, enjoy the latest blockbuster, even take off on a weekend break. Whew, NatWest, a lifetime 5.9% APR on balance transfers and air miles. It's a very rewarding card. There is another way, you know. Call NatWest now or visit your local branch. It's Christmas for everyone at Pound Stretcher where you'll find this WWF Titan Tron at $9.99. Or this kettle and toaster set at only $19.99. There's something for everyone this Christmas, so why shop anywhere else? Pound Stretcher, much more than just great prices. Ho ho ho! CDs from $9.99. At Sainsbury's. 22-year-old country boy Gavin has just four weeks to bluff it as a top-class hairstylist. It's just going to be the biggest and most radical change that I've ever had in my life. 
industry stars Trevor Sorby and Zoe Irwin help him hide his country roots and hit his London highlights. He's got to know his buzz cut from his bevel bob. A person can easily spot somebody that's not confident. Very worrying. It's a bit scary at this moment for me. Farmhand to hairdresser. In front of a panel of judges, will Gavin's bevel bob be exposed as the lamb chop it is? Faking it, Tuesday at 9 on 4. Property and travel is where it's at. A place in the sun looks back at some holiday gems in both Florida and the Caribbean. And in Home From Home, you'll only have to worry about the price of the flight. Some delicious house swapping from 525. For a daytime has always shaping up rather nicely, in it.